Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, we're going to talk about fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic is one of the ways that we can use to manage the problem of uncertainty. Like in previous video, we have established that uncertainty can come from several factors. For example, uh, weak implications and imprecise language. So in this video, we'll take a look at how exactly fuzzy logic can be used to solve especially these two sources of uncertainty. Okay, first of all, let's describe what exactly is fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic is a mathematical theory that describes fuzziness and it involves the theory of fuzzy set. So fuzzy logic is based on idea that all things come on a sliding scale. Sliding scale means you can be uh, a certain values can mean several things to several people for example the temperature example that we discussed in the previous video height speed distance beauty these are all ideas that are ambiguous and these ideas it actually reflects how people think and by using fuzzy logic we are basically attempting to model our sense of words and decision making and common sense in a way that can be computed fuzzy logic is basically an extension of boolean logic and i am sure all of you understands what boolean logic are boolean logic uses sharp distinction things are either totally true or totally false zero or one and you can draw a line between members of class and non-members for example this is the line and if the value is zero you belong in this category if the value is one you belong in this category but in contrast with fuzzy logic fuzzy logic is multi-valued logic and fuzzy logic is capable of extending the range of truth to all the real number between 0 and 1. Because between 0 and 1, you have all these um, floating numbers. So, for example, the possibility of a man that is 181 centimeters tall being tall is set at the value of 0 0.86. So the way to read this, this man that is 181 centimeter tall is 86% tall. And fuzzy logic is able to employ a spectrum of colors and it is said that things can be partly true and partly false at the same time. Fuzzy logic is a set of math principles for knowledge representation and they are based on degrees of membership. So how many degrees do you belong in a particular set? And fuzzy logic uses the continuum of logical values between 0, which is completely false, and 1, which is completely true. So classical example in fuzzy set is tall man. Classical example means examples that are very popular in fuzzy logic. If you look at this table over here, um, there are several names and their heights. The elements of the fuzzy set tall men are basically all men, but their degree of membership depends on their height. So if you look at the example of Tom, Tom is 181 cm tall, and if you're looking at Crips value or Boolean value, he is considered as true. True meaning he is tall. But when you look at the fuzzy value, Tom is 82% tall or 0 0.82 in the degree of membership. Let's look at David. David is 179cm tall, which is just 2cm shorter than Tom. But if you're looking at the Crips value, he is considered as not tall, which is Considering the gap is only 2 cm, it doesn't quite make sense. If you look at the fuzzy value, however, he is 0 0.87 in the degree of membership 
or 78% power. So this is the craft of fuzzy sets of tall men and this is the crits craft where the border is at 180 centimeter you can basically see the line is drawn at this value whoever falls under 180 is considered as not tall but if you are looking at the fuzzy set graph the graph changes values from 0 until 1 so there is a sliding values so you are not totally short when you are 175 for example so the x-axis in the previous figure okay, remember the x-axis it represents the universe of this course meaning the range of all possible values so if you were looking at the previous figures um, it was the values from 0 until 200 meanwhile the y-axis represents the membership values and this is uh, the values is a sliding very sliding value from 0 until 1 and in our particular case the fuzzy set of tall men will maps the height values into the corresponding membership values so what exactly is a fuzzy set the fuzzy set in its most simplest definition can be defined as a set with fuzzy boundaries fuzzy, fuzzy meaning it is not creeps not Crips. So you cannot just draw one line between what is tall and what is not tall. So in a fuzzy set, we have X, that is the universe of discourse. Universe of discourse means all possible values. So in our previous example of tall men, the values were from 0 until 210 centimeter, And all the elements are denoted as X. So, in classical set theory, especially those involving Boolean logic, a crisp set A of universe X is defined as a characteristic function of set A, where X will get the value of either 0 or 1, where X is considered as 1 if X is is an element of set A and X is considered as zero if X doesn't belong in set A. This basically would map uh, the universe X to a set of two elements, A or not A. Meanwhile, in a fuzzy set theory, the fuzzy set A of universe X is defined as a function, this function, that we called it as the membership function of set A. The way to look at it is, X can have the value from 0 until 1, where the membership function of X is 1 if X is totally in A. The membership function of x is 0 if x is totally not in A. And x can have the values between 0 until 1 if x is partly in A. So, when we are using fuzzy set theory, it actually allows us to have a continuum of possible choices. Therefore, any element in a, any element X of universe X would have a membership function that equals the degree to which X is an element of A, basically explaining what this is all about. And this degree, which is a value between 0 and 1, represents the degree of membership. And they are also called as membership value of element X in set. A. Now, let's take a look at 
the previous example of Tallman again. Before we can decide the membership function, we need to understand where we are going to get them. So it can be either from the knowledge of a single expert, it can be from knowledge of multiple experts, it can come from artificial neural network. So these are some of the possible sources that would define where do we get our membership function. How do we know that a man that is 181 centimeter is 0.86 tall, for example. So through a membership function. So this membership function again is described by these three possible factors. And of course, you can also have any other sources. So going back to our Tallman example, we obtain the fuzzy sets of all tall, short, and average men. So now we have three different fuzzy sets and not only just tall men set. So the universe of this course, again, are men's heights that now consist all three fuzzy sets. So we have values from 0 cm up until 210 cm where we also have three different fuzzy sets, short, average and tall. So we have established that the universe of this course is from 0 cm up until 210 cm. So if you look at the graph A, values starts from 0 up until 210 and same goes for graph B. But on the left side is a crisp set graph. Meanwhile, on the right set is a fuzzy set graph. Therefore, if you're looking at the crisp set, a man that is 184 cm tall would fall under tall. So 184 would be around here. But if you are looking at the fuzzy set graph, a man that is 184 cm is a member of average man set. Because if you see here, I'm drawing the line from 184 and it stops at this line of the average set and it has a decree of membership of 0 0.1 while at the same time this same person is also part of the tall man fuzzy set with a decree of 0 0.4 so if you see here if you are looking at the crypts set a person that is 184 centimeter is considered as tall but if we are looking at fuzzy set, the same man can fall under average with a value of 0 0.1 and tall with a value of 0 0.4, both at the same time. One of the core elements of fuzzy set theory is the idea of linguistic variable. So linguistic variable is a fuzzy variable. For example, if you have the statement, John is tall, John is our linguistic variable, while tall is our linguistic value. And this particular statement implies that the linguistic variable of John takes the linguistic value of tall. So just like conventional expert system, in fuzzy expert system, knowledge are encapsulated in rules. However, the difference is we use linguistic variables in our fuzzy rules. So let's take a look at the first rule. If wind is strong. So here, the linguistic variable is wind while strong is our linguistic values. Then sailing is good. Here, the consequent good is a linguistic value while sailing is our linguistic variable. As for the remaining two rules, if project duration is long, then completion risk is high. Here, the linguistic values are long and high. 
next. If speed is slow, then stopping distance is short. In this particular rule, our linguistic values are slow and short. If you are looking at linguistic variable, the range of possible values for this variable represent the universe of discourse. And we have established that universe of discourse are all possible values for a particular item. So for example, the universe of discourse of the linguistic variable speed might have the range between 0 until 220 km per hour. And inside this universe of discourse, you can also have fuzzy subsets such as very slow, slow, medium, fast and very fast. Additionally, linguistic variable can also have the concept of fuzzy set qualifiers and these are called hedges. Hedges are terms that are used to modify the shape of fuzzy set and they include adverbs such as very, somewhat, quite, more or less and slightly. So if you look at the graph here and if you look at the fuzzy set of short, if you add the adverb of very, it will change the shape of the fuzzy set short where there is a curve over here. And everything that falls below this curve would have the value of very short. Same goes to tall over here. When we add the adverb of very, it changes the shape of this fuzzy set tall and everything that falls behind this shape is considered as belonging to the set of very tall. Now, let's take a look at all other hedges that are possible in a fuzzy set and how it changes the shape of the graphs. So if you have very, sorry, if you have a little, the, method, the mathematical expression for a little is the membership function to the power of 1.3. And it changes the graph this way. So the original shape of the graph is a triangle. And this is the look of the hedges. Meanwhile, for slightly, it has the value of to the power of 1.7 and the hedge are more curved. Very has the power of 2 and the hedges becomes even narrower. Extremely has a power of 3 and if you look if you look at the curve it is becoming more distinctive. Very, very is to the power of 4 and it is more pronounced as compared to the previous one. More or less, the hedge of more or less is a factor of the membership function and the curve is outside of the original fuzzy set. Somewhat has the same value of more or less, therefore, the fuzzy set is changed the same way as for indeed, it is 2 times the membership function to the power of 2 and it modifies the fuzzy set this way.